thousandth millionth of a metre, it only could be nanoparticles, but how do these sizes affect the distribution across the tumour-like environment? Our typical tumour environment is very tricky to navigate as there are a lot of different dynamics to consider. Solid tumours larger than 2 millimetres will be infiltrated with blood vessels, which allows for the delivery of nutrients to aid in overproliferation or the increased growth of cancer cells. As the tumour grows, it compresses the lymphatic system, a drainage system for our tissues, which creates local swelling. This makes it difficult to deliver nanoparticles to the environment due to the high pressure from the fluid accumulation and the tumour has a denser ECM compared to normal tissue. In some tumours, the only way to deliver nanoparticles will be through diffusion of extravasation, a process of leaving the vasculature. This whole process is sometimes called the enhanced permeability and retention effect. Given a diffusive environment is present, one method to improve the distribution in a tumour would be to change the size of the nanoparticles. In typical diffusion, larger nanoparticles will travel slower than smaller particles. Therefore, the slower the nanoparticles travel through the ECM, the more likely the nanoparticles will remain near to the vessel, and they may not enter the ECM at all. Also, we can predict if the nanoparticles are too small, they may pass through the tumour without reaching a therapeutic level and be pressured out on the edges of the tumour into healthy tissue. So an effective nanoparticle treatment needs a balance between both or a way to interact with the environment to reach therapeutic levels for treatment.